In this demonstration, we'll present usability of fighter device onboarding standard in industrial enterprise and consumer scenarios. On the left, we can see a standard European DIN uh, rail breaker board with three main breakers, uh, one for each electric phase and three smaller 16M breakers for separate lines. Right next to them, we have two login ID developed 110 to 240 volts mains voltage meters that are FDO enabled. The first meter has already been onboarded via FDO and is now enrolled to login ID AWS management console. We can see on the right side in our things there is a device and if we go to our MQTT test client, we can see the device is sending a voltage readings to our topic. We're now turning on our second device. We can see that it's loading. Uh, the meter is fresh new out of factory. It, it has only address of rendezvous service, FDO credential and special Wi-Fi configuration. It does not have any AWS configuration, any other kind of information. It will receive all of that by onboarding via FDO. If we look in the top left, we can see the device have successfully connected to the pre-configured rendezvous service and have received the address of the device onboarding service. If we look in the center left, we can see that it has successfully onboarded via device onboarding service. The device, the onboarding service on the fly via its broker was able to generate fresh AWS IoT credentials and inject them using the Service Info extension profile. If we now turn our attention to the right, we can see the device was able to successfully connect to the AWS MQTT server and is now sending voltage reading to the specified through Service Info extension topic. If we look at the Things dashboard, we can see that another device was added. What this demonstrates is that FDO is able to fulfill three important criteria. Control, ease of configuration and agile resource management. Control's ability to take over the device by having cryptographic proof of device ownership, a voucher. No voucher, no device. The second is ease of configuration. The device can literally be configured by turning it on. This is really important for larger industrial and commercial deployments. Most of the IT attacks today are based on simple credential stuffing and reuse. This issue is unavoidable so long that each IoT device must be configured manually. Lastly is Agile Resource Management. Instead of having pre-allocated infrastructure pre injected sensitive information that is costly and dangerous, you can simply set up necessary resources on the fly. More cameras, more licenses, more servers, vice versa. The offhand nature of the fire device onboarding means that we can connect devices on the fly to our management consoles and have no touch setups, which is really important in consumer enterprise scenarios, like in this home assistant demo where our voltage meters have been automatically added, which enables us to view graph visualization of our readings. We hope that you enjoyed this demonstration. If you would like to learn more about fire device onboarding, please visit fto.cloud.com.